Welcome back to my studio. Last time we talked, I was working on uh, this drawing. I needed to refine things like, you know, exactly how I was gonna handle all these flares and work through these kind of areas. I, I, I liked a lot of it, but some of it was not right. Uh, I needed to work on refining that some more. And I was going to mosaic all these little areas. So I did that, and in the process, I decided to eliminate these three. And, uh, oh, I think this, this little guy over here. And I really changed things like this that went to the edge. I'm going to have a jagged edge. So I really had to change um, some things. So in that process, the placement and the shapes of these little guys um, changed quite a bit. For example, this one, it wasn't gonna work out with my jagged edge. It ended up being, being this, and that's quite a bit different, even regarding the flow of it. This one, uh, it's, it's quite a different shape, actually. Um, here we are, more uh, narrow down here. And um, this one, so, so they changed quite a bit. We've got this one here got quite a bit bigger. Look at this. I really wanted to vary the, the shapes a little more. I just didn't want them to all look the same. I, I did have to uh, change change this. It ended up being complete in and of itself. So because those things changed a lot, I did want to start fresh and take you know what I'd already figured out and and finish it and more more refined. So I did that. Um, before I had removed these, this one I knew right away, it just wasn't going to work. That would be uh, this guy here. Um, I took a picture of it as it was and I sized it, I cropped it and sized it to 18 inches high by 16 inches wide, which is to scale. I imported that image into an app called Procreate on my iPad and with the Apple Pencil, um, set as a paintbrush, I went in and I painted all around these areas and, and just whited out that messy gray substrate. And then I, I um, had my husband, which he was very kind to do, make, get, make two prints for me. And then I started over with my drawing. Well, I didn't start over, I, but because I, I already had a, a nice place to start from this. And this is where we ended up. Um, let me talk first about three things I want to point out. These are little patches over um, these guys who were still on the substrate when I took the picture. And I hadn't quite decided whether to keep them or not. And then I did, and so I made a little patch to go over it. So that might be a little distracting for you. Um, another thing is these pieces are just really regimented in, primarily with, I mean, not exact, but I think way more than they're going to be. Um, but it was really necessary for me to get them in and as best I could get these angles worked out um, in order to properly uh, support the, the flow. So um, those won't be surprised. Uh, hmm. Those will not be exact the way they are drawn in here. Uh, generally, the you know this distance will be the same. Um, I I'm going to try to follow pretty much the these widths and have have these lines and the way they flare out. I like what I've come up with here a lot, and I want to follow this. So the the lines will be uh, pretty exact. And these large pieces that I'll cut from a bee cuts and from a pizza, these will be pretty exact as far as placement and, and size and shape because I, I really like the way they, they turned out. Um, so they'll be pretty exact. Um, like this area, I, I just, I do really like the way that has come together. I like the way the, um, the larger cuts uh, are in there. Um, I've worked in my jagged edge as well. Um, 
so that it's going to work out pretty much like that. Of course, you know, once I get working, it may change a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm sure it will change a little bit, uh, but this is pretty close, and I'm 99% happy with with this. I do think the flows look, look pretty good and graceful. There are uh, like three little areas that I will probably tweak some more. This is one. I think for one thing, it's just a little too uh, exact. Um, and this just looks like a little bikini top to me. What do you think? But it, at least it's kind of, it looks a little like a honeycomb. I think it's gonna be okay when I actually get the pieces cut because um, I, I think it will be okay, but I will be on the lookout for that. This, um, well, this is okay. Um, generally, I like the way this flow um, goes. Um, I'm just not sure. Um, so I may, I may tweak this a little bit, or I may just wait until I actually get in there and cut the pieces. Uh, I, I like the way this goes. I've got an issue, and I will definitely work this out in the, in the next day or two. This is just a, a bit repetitive, and I, I think that's an issue. And that, that piece is a little too big anyway. So, 99%, not 100%. And I'll probably catch a little bit as I go. So what I did, once I had this, I went to my other print, and with carbon paper, I traced this one onto it. And in that process, um, I debated, oh, do I really need to do that? But yes, it, it paid off. I caught a couple of, uh, more than a couple, three or four issues like this, um, where it's smudged. I, I, I realized a problem. I, I caught, um, these pieces are just, a, I think, a little too big. Um, like, and, and these pieces, these were a little too big, I thought, and too similarly, you know, sized. So I did make um, an adjustment here, and I think it's a little better. Um, back on this drawing, I couldn't really draw on the one that I did with carbon paper. Um, I, I did a little bit in here as well. For example, like this piece, just a little too big, I thought. So I, I, you know, worked on that a little bit over here. May need to do that some more. This area in particular, this is how it was to begin with. And I didn't like that piece. It's, this just felt tight, you know, because of how I'd done that. And, but, and I didn't see it until I created this one. So on this one, I went back and I kind of rethought that a little bit and I got rid of that and I do think it's better. What do you think? Right here and there. That just feels like it's, you know, like a belt, a belt is squeezing it tight, you know. And I just think that's, where'd we go? Yeah, that's, that's a little more graceful. So it was a worthwhile investment, even though it seemed a bit uh, repetitive or redundant, it, it really wasn't. Um, so uh, some things I, I already said how happy I am with the, the flow, the big pieces. I like the variation in size of pieces. The width here, we you know get bigger and, and narrower. I, I think that adds a lot. It's more natural and um, more dynamic uh, than, uh, for example, this little guy. And I just love that reflection. Sorry for the distraction. Let's get back to the topic. So these were all kind of similar size, and that nothing wrong with that. Um, it's okay. And this that was a very small area. I have a lot more mosaic area to work with here, and I think it's it's much better to be varying the size of the pieces. So let's see, I think I'm about ready to get started on this. I've got my colors pretty much identified. Got it's still gonna work out something in the next day or so, um, and be very sure about what I wanna do um, as far as the, the uh, palette. And then I will get with you uh, in the next video and just talk about my palette a little bit and then I'm going to get started. So, thanks for joining me today and uh, until next time.